Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen held high-stakes meetings with China's top economic officials in Switzerland this morning. Yellen pointed out disagreements between Washington and Beijing, but said those tensions should not, quote, unnecessarily worsen our bilateral economic and financial relationship. So joining us now uh, for more on this is CBS News reporter Sarah Ewald Weiss. Uh, th it's good to see you. I read another um, quote from her that was just, it was very clear that everyone was choosing their words very carefully, right? Um, ha was anything agreed upon during this two hour long meeting? You know, there were several areas of mutual agreement where this go really depends. But according to the Treasury Department, these were candid and constructive conversations. Uh, they agreed on sustainable development and cooperation when it comes to climate finance. That is something that the secretary is very interested in. Also, agreement on support for emerging markets. Uh, but keep in mind, this was Secretary Yellen's first in-person meeting with her Chinese counterpart. Uh, but they have met virtually three times in the past. And this also comes after President Biden met with the president of China last year in Asia, where they also uh, had really enforced the idea of continuing conversations. So where does some of the major contention still remain and how, the, how will that complicate Yellen's upcoming trip to Africa, where the United States hopes to expand trade? I mean, obviously, we know China is very active on the continent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you really hit this nail on the head here. It when it comes to the relationship, the complications are over trade, largely in part. Uh, and this has been an escalating tension since the Trump administration, uh, when that administration, starting in 2018, imposed tariffs. The Biden administration has not removed those tariffs. And, you know, this is despite Secretary Yellen previously calling those tariffs not strategic. Uh, additionally, there were further restrictions imposed on U.S. companies when it comes to technology. That happened last year on exports to China. Uh, you know, the Treasury Department did not specifically say what issues of concern were raised at this meeting, but they called, were called a, quote, frank exchange of views. And this really is a balancing act when it comes to economic growth and national security. Uh, when it comes to Secretary Yellen's trip to Africa, where she'll be visiting three separate countries, she needs to both maintain the relationships with partners like China, but the U.S. is also looking to expand its trade with other countries and economic ties elsewhere, which puts us in direct competition with countries like China. Yeah, you know, you point out something a couple of things that are really interesting. While the Biden administration is trying to sort of prove its muscle against China, and you, you mentioned the ban on semiconductors, and uh, the Biden-Harris administration made an announcement about uh, batteries for EVs, uh, wanting them to be made in America. Um, so you've got Biden doing that, while Janet Yellen is trying to sort of orchestrate a workable relationship. These are two major players in, global, in the global economy. How significant is keeping open lines of communication and how important is it between the two countries? This is extremely important. And, and these are not just two major players. These are the two largest economies in the world. Uh, and they're also very interconnected. We saw that when it came to the coronavirus pandemic and supply chains. I think what Secretary Yellen here is trying to make clear is that she even referenced it with some remarks pointing to something that President Biden said, where she said, quote, we share a responsibility to show China and the United States can manage our differences and prevent competition from becoming anything ever near conflict. Uh, so this is really about managing expectations while building on those relationships. Uh, and it's a part of ongoing conversations that the administration hopes to continue as other situations has caused things to escalate further uh, when it comes to conflict between these two countries. All right, Sarah, as you say, to be continued, thank you very much. Thank you.